Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein here with the Food and Wine Life channel and I'm here with the beautiful Eva Clay and today we are going to make New Orleans barbecue shrimp slash New Orleans barbecue shrimp po' boys with homemade rumelot sauce and homemade Cajun seasoning. So let's get into it. <music> For this New Orleans barbecue shrimp slash barbecue shrimp po' boy, we have po' boy bread. I believe it's rising, and it's a rising, and it's a very good bread. If you can get this bread, I would highly recommend it. You just put it in the oven for about five minutes at 400, and it is amazing. Okay, I've got one stick of butter from Europe. I believe this one's Irish. I have some parsley for garnish. Green onions, two cloves of garlic chopped, lettuce and tomato for the sandwich, one pound of Gulf shrimp. I've got three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise to make a homemade remoulade sauce. And I've got some crystal hot sauce, my very favorite hot sauce of all times. And I got my homemade Cajun seasoning. And if you guys would like to know what that's about, um, leave a comment below and we'll figure it out. So. Let's get into it. All right, so I got this cast iron on a medium heat. I'm gonna put a little butter in this to test it. Looks like it's doing well. I'm gonna put the rest of it in. All the butter. I'm gonna melt it down real good. So now I've got this butter starting to melt down pretty good. I'm gonna kinda of like let it sit for a second and I'm gonna put the garlic cloves in and the green onions. Now I'm gonna put all this mixed together and kind of let it brown for a second. Like that. And I'm gonna let that green onions and those garlic cloves kind of mend with that um, butter real nicely. And then I'm gonna actually uh, let that cook for a couple minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I got all this saute and the onions and the garlic and this butter, I got the shrimp that I seasoned with my homemade Cajun seasoning. And I'm just literally going to drop them in there. And let that come together real nicely. And then once that cooks, we'll put it all together. All right, so I got these shrimp cooking in a butter mixture. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of my famous Cajun seasoning. Mike's famous Cajun seasoning. Give it a nice color. Cook down a little bit more. That's about the color I shoot for right there. Nice little orange color, brownish orange color. So I'm gonna cook these a few more minutes 
And then while these are cooking, I'm going to put the uh, po' boy bread in the oven for five minutes and come back and put this together. All right, I'm fixing to make a homemade remoulade sauce. And my ingredients for this are very simple. Three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, my Cajun seasoning, a heaping tablespoon of ketchup, and Crystal's hot sauce. Very simple. So all I do is put some of this hot sauce in, whatever, how much you like, to your taste. And I whisk it together like this. Very simple. Put the ketchup in it. This is another tried and tested, um, time tested recipe that I've made before several times. People seem to love it. My Cajun seasoning. Give it a taste. A little bit more seasoning. That is it, homemade remoulade sauce. So it's gonna be delicious. So this is the finished product. I'm fixing to put it all together right now. All right, so this is our finished product. I'm fixing to put this together. We actually got some barbecue shrimp. Um, just to eat as an appetizer, you can dip the bread in. It's got some nice butter, amazing French bread. Anyway, so we're fixing to put this sandwich just together or this sandwich together. So, what I do is open the bread up that's been in the oven for five minutes at 400. And I put a generous amount of the remoulade on here. And then I take some of these shrimp. And I put on it like that. Generous amount. And in New Orleans, a lot of times they make a sandwich, a po' boy, and they call it dressed. And it's just usually lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. But this, I spiced this one up a little bit with the remoulade. So I got the remoulade, the French bread, the barbecue shrimp. Then I'm gonna put a few slices of the tomato A little bit of the lettuce. Just a pinch of the Cajun seasoning. Put it all together. New Orleans barbecue shrimp po' boy. I'm gonna make one more sandwich and I'm gonna come back with the beautiful Miss Eva and we're gonna go over it. All right, I'm back and I plated all this up. Got the sandwiches. Got the shrimp for dipping, and I'm here with the beautiful Miss Eva. So we're gonna give it a taste and see how it goes. This looks delicious, and by the way, smells divine. So let's try it. All right, try it. I'm gonna try the sandwich. I'm just gonna try a little of this first. Mm hmm mm. Amazing bread with that butter. Mm hmm That golf shrimp is really good. It's really shrimpy. Mm -hmm. So it's good? Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. I'll take a bite of mine. And the bread? Yes, definitely. One of the bread, best breads for this type of dish for po' boys. I'll try this. Like that. What's the butter? Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Quick and easy. New Orleans style. Shrimp, mm -hmm. barbecue shrimp, with oh, two different yeah. ways, po' boys and um, mm -hmm. dipping. Yeah, barbecue shrimp. It's a great quick dish to make for your Super Bowl party, for your Mardi Gras party, yeah. um, 
for uh, even Valentine's Day. That would be a great little appetizer. Oh yeah, that'd be simple too. Mm -hmm. Simple that'd little be... uh, yeah appetizer yeah. for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Just shrimp, butter, and Cajun seasoning. Yeah, have a little bit of onions mm -hmm. and uh, or actually green onions and, and garlic. garlic. So yeah, very simple. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. And on that note, cheers, na zdrowie. Cheers. <laughs>